Now, superposition might sound all fancy, but it's really something that you'll have seen many times before. If you have a source of wa waves and another source, we tend to find that the two uh, sets of waves move through each other. And when they meet at a point, the displacement, or the total displacement, is equal to the sum of their individual displacements. We can look at this superposition of waves graphically in a number of ways. Imagine we had a fairly large wave with a, a large amplitude and a, a long wavelength. If we think about a wave like that, and we had that maybe playing, perhaps a sound wave, if we played another sound wave at the same time, perhaps this one has a smaller amplitude and a higher frequency, what we could look at is the sum of these two waves. And we can do that by adding their individual displacements at any time and uh, looking at what that looks like. And what we get is something a bit like this. Now it's not easy to draw, but effectively what we have is uh, the, the smaller wave superimposed onto the top of the wave. And this is uh, you know, perhaps the, the way that uh, frequency modulation works and how a carrier wave uh, allows us to transmit uh, data and especially radio programs over a long distance. We can also look at this in a couple more um, of examples. So perhaps I had a small wave that went up and down. And we can look at things like its frequency and its amplitude and so on. Now perhaps we had a very similar wave that had the same uh, frequency and therefore the same phase difference with its waves, uh, maybe a similar amplitude. And what we could do is we could look at how these two waves interact. And what we can do is maybe add this wave to this wave. And what we get then is a resultant. Uh, and by applying or adding up their individual displacements at any time, what we get is a wave that has twice the amplitude as what we started with. And this is what we call constructive interference. This is because as the two waves interfere with each other, they construct a bigger wave than what they started with. So this is a bit like a load of individual voices, perhaps in a crowd, and they all get added together and they make the whole crowd sound louder than that one voice. We can also look at the example where we have a similar wave to begin with, and this time the second wave is 180 degrees out of phase. So that means whenever this is at uh, its maximum positive amplitude, this is at its maximum negative displacement down here. And again, if we look at uh, summing up these two waves together, what we get is something that looks like this. The two waves have cancelled each other out. And this is what we call destructive interference.